Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is quick pathology. Okay, and today we're gonna talk about the microscopic and the microscopic feature of squamous cell carcinoma. Very important carcinoma of the skin. Squamous cell carcinoma is known as epidermoid. Okay, cancer, right? So you know this squamous cell carcinoma. It's most commonly it occurs in the skin, oral cavity, uterine cervix, okay, or at the edge of chronic ulcers. Chronic. Look, they start from the edges of the chronic ulcer. That's really very important. And if you look at the microscopic feature, microscopically, the tumor is either in the form of what you call, they have different forms. One is nodular, it can be in the form of nodular, it can be in the form of ulcerative, fungating, or polypoid. Okay, and polypoid with mass without ulceration. So these are the what you call different uh, presentation of um, squamous cell carcinoma. The margin of this growth or squamous cell pap uh, papillom, uh, squamous cell carcinoma, sorry, is elevated and indurated. That's really very important. It's elevated and indurated. Okay. If you look at the cut surface of this growth, it shows what you call gray white endophytes as well as exophytic tumors. Gray white endophytic as well as exophytic tumors. Okay, let me draw and show you if this is a lag. I don't know how beautiful is the lag. Is this okay? It's a great toe, and this is a chronic ulcers, it has a growth like this. Okay. It can be fungating like or a polypoid what you call like this if this grows in the okay guys so these are the different shapes of what you call a squamous cell carcinoma seen grassly now we have the microscopic examination under a microscope if you look at this it's characterized by the malignant cells that show variable degree of differentiation malignant cells Okay, the what you call the better differentiated tumors, the cells are arranged in a concentric layer called epithelial pearls. If you see epithelial pearls, then think of what you call squamous cell carcinoma also. And these contains a material known as a keratin. Okay, let me try and show you if possible. These are cells. Okay, the, this is known as a pulse. These are known as a pulse, remember. Okay, and there's a downward proliferation. The proliferation of the malignant cells is a proliferation, and that's a sign of malignancy. Okay, right? And these are known as walls of malignant squamous cell carcinoma. These together, they are fluid. With two pearls. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay, guys. The masses of tumor cells invade through the basement membrane into the dermis. They invade the basement membrane through the dermis, remember, okay? 
so it cannot affect these layers and cause such a what you call um, dangerous tumor it has okay and the muscle tumors are separated by lymphocytes you see lymphocytes and the tumor cells are separated by these lymphocytes so these are the what you call the the cross and the microscopic features of uh, um, squamous cell carcinoma thank you so much for watching this video take care